Somebody call the doctor because bad medicine is back. We drug Diamond Dave out of the edit editing studio and there he is. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we thought we'd have some fun and take a look at Thor Love and Thunder. Now, again, this is one I was able to stay away from pretty much everything. Uh, no idea what happens. Barely know who's in it. I just know that it's Marvel and it's Chris Hemsworth and it's got Christian Bale so that Damn near guarantees a good time, I hope. Christian Bale's? Yeah, he's uh, Gore, the God Butcher. Um, I also, despite being a big Marvel fan, stayed away from despite my wife's best efforts because she saw the trailer and was like, ooh, I like that. I want to see him, <laughs> see his big arms. But we decided to stay away from it um, just so I could do it with my three best pals. So I just want to know, guys, are you guys ready, willing, and able to watch this with me? Ready, willing, and yep. able never to hear that again. Mm, um, too anyhow, too uh, much like Gwyn and Andrew, I actually stayed away from this, and honestly, I didn't really see any spoilers on mm. uh, uh, on social media anywhere. So this is normally a movie that I would definitely <laughs> go and see in the theater, held <laughs> off, so we could do it with this channel, Diamond Dave. On to your thoughts. Boys are back. You know, I I am actually excited for it. Uh, <laughs> personally, I'm excited for it. Now, I've no spoilers for me. Just like these guys, no spoilers for me. Uh, I have seen, though, this week some headlines come out on Twitter. I think it's from Comic Book saying it. this now has a score lower than Thor 2, the which was horrible. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of people did not like this. Uh, curious to what you guys thought. Of course, down in the comments. But for now, I am excited. Hopefully, I'm not disappointed by the end. So I am not, though, expecting Thor Ragnarok because I do believe everyone, the cast and director and everything, said it's not going to be Ragnarok. So I at least have that expectation going in. Well, that was just so hey, we're, good. We're making a new movie, but keep your expectations <laughs> low. Yeah. Keep them low. Well, I mean, not that low. You got right. three A-listers in there with, with these guys, with Bale and... Hemsworth and Crow and, and Crow. And, I mean, where can he go wrong? So, on hey. that note, let's go! Yeah! Ground sure is dry. Yeah, yeah. hanging out on the salt flats. Oh, look at Bale. Oh. I'm ready or not for me, or for my daughter. Do you think she makes it? Oh, he ain't looking so hot. I don't like the way she looks there. Oh, no. So Did we just lose her? Holy crap. Oh, jeez. Oh, All right, well, there's an opener. Is that Voldemort? Well, this can't be real, right? Uh, you would imagine he would have found it when he was there with his daughter. Ooh. Oh. Oh, he healed, oh, he healed up healed pretty real quick. quick. Ah, what do we have here? It's gobbling up all my fruit. <laughs> oh, it's one of mine. I am Gore, the last of your disciples. Our life is lost, but our faith in you never wavered, and now we await. The promise of the eternal reward. Is this why you celebrate? He thinks there's an eternal reward! <laughs> oh, he just lost his daughter? I'm just not ready for comedy yet, you know? What we're celebrating is a fresh kill. We just vanquished the holder of the Necro Sword before he could harm any other gods with that cursed blade. Oh, that he just cut his hand on it. Your empire is already ended. There'll be more followers to replace you. My daughter died. Suffering for your gods is your only purpose. What? You are no god. I renounce you. Oh, this dude's huge. Yeah. Yeah, he's not little. Let's juice. Kill all the gods. Oh, look at that. Go to eternity. Oh, no, that's cool. Summon the Bifrost. Oh, the Bifrost? I thought that was destroyed. Got him. Oh, 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 right in the middle. Oh, oh, right in the throat. So chose you. You are now cursed. It doesn't feel like a curse. I noticed the to uh, tone in his voice has completely yeah. changed. Oh, God, you will die. Oh, dude. Until he 
Well, yeah, until you got the blade. sword, yeah. Thor was taught to help <laughs> win battles, fighting the good fight for those who can't fight the baby Bjorn? He once loved a swashbuckling passionista. He loved a wolf woman. <laughs> on a woman wolf? <laughs> but Thor's one true love was an earth woman named Jane Fonda. Jane Foster. In the battle for love, Thor lost. Ooh. Ooh. He lost a lot of people in those days. His mum. His dad. And that guy. And Heimdall. And his brother. And again. <sighs> It seemed that everything and everyone he loved, he lost. <laughs> the dude. Just because he was done loving, didn't mean he was done fighting. He teamed up with the Guardians of the Galaxy. He got in shape, putting in the hard yards. He went from dad bod to god bod. So he gave up his search for love. Waiting in quiet contemplation for someone to say, We need your help to win this battle. Let's go. People are dying. See you down there. <laughs> Come on, really? Oh, wow. No, he's not. <laughs> what is you this? Know? Quidditch? <laughs> <laughs> I am good. Uh, you got sap all over it. How are we doing, guys? We're all about to die. You said this planet would be a relaxing holiday. I said it was going to be like a relaxing holiday. God of Thunder. King Yakan! <laughs> As you know, we used to live in a peaceful oasis, and our gods were murdered. Murdered? Tell them what happened here today. So at the time that Thor, drag tag, motley crew, misfit desperados, the odds may be against us, but I'll tell you this for free. Here it comes. This ends here and now! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Coming to one of the. Greatest rock songs ever made. Guns and Roses here. Yep. What a welcome to the jungle. These guys don't stand a chance. He's not trying to go into the temple, is it? No. Thing and leave. The temple? <laughs> All that in three and a half minutes. <laughs> the whole temple. temple. <laughs> what a classic floor adventure. <laughs> is, there, is this Jane? Is that a girl, Jane? Mm -hmm. Yes, hey. it is. Jane Fonda. The book? Yeah? I wrote it. You're, you're Dr. Jane Foster? Hi. Hi. <laughs> How's the uh, Einstein Rosenbridge? Really tough. It, it's, it's, um, you need a 3D model. What's she hooked oh, up to there? Uh, is this, uh, oh, is she have chemo? Hey, look, they got Kat Dennings back. Oh, it is chemo, isn't it? Uh, how's it going? It's going amazing. Have you told anyone else besides me? When people find out, they start acting weird. Oh, she's got the big C. Jane, it's stage four. I have, like, how many stages? Four. Oh. You're trying to get back to the lab, aren't you? I have a few ideas I'm trying. You're not getting what the universe is actually trying to tell you, so you need your energy to fight this thing. My way does not have to equal alone in a lab. Maybe it's time to play the space viking card. It's tall, it's fun, and it's gorgeous. It's, it's a handsome card. Was she doing all of her own? I was just going to say, she right. trying yeah, to she's herself. She's got to be trying yeah. anything and everything she can. All her own blood work. Hey! hey. hey. Oh, again with the GNR. <laughs> well, the, the previews all had Sweet Child of Mine. Uh, oh. And now we've had uh, Welcome to the Jungle, Jungle and Paradise, Paradise City. City. Because you're worthy. <laughs> Do you <laughs> Infinity Cones. <laughs> it's got the with gauntlet. The go <laughs> Jeez. Look at this place. You're a phone father. Yes. Matt Damon again! <laughs> hey, they got the brother. <laughs> no, I guess it's fine. <laughs> For me to pass on to the spirit realm. You have a sister. I turn <laughs> into that godly stardust. That's his brother. That's yeah. the, the other half. Yeah, that's the, the other brother. Yeah, that's the other brother. Oh, you watch Westworld. Yeah. You should know that. Hunger Games. Come on, dude. 
Oh. Liam. No, that's Liam. not Liam. That's, that's not, not Liam. Liam. This is the third brother. I can't that's remember his name right oh, now. Yeah. I was going to say, that's not We're Liam. We're disrespecting the hell out of him. An ominous portal has appeared <laughs> behind us. I love the overacting. All right, who's playing the sister? <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's her. Her. Wow. <laughs> Me we'll never join you, witch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zach, Jane. Jane. What's going on here? Throw oh, has to be near. Oh, God of disaster. <laughs> God of disaster. <laughs> In return for your service, please accept these gifts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. oh, my God. It's like the yelling goats <laughs> from the internet. Yeah. They should live with us forever. Oh, oh, oh. 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 The goats are gonna be fine. It's not. We can just get some meat. Ting <laughs> people, meeting people. Yeah. <laughs> You've been here this whole time. Yeah, you said to stay with the ship. Finally. All right, here we go. Distress calls. God butcher. <laughs> It's a warning. Where are you? Wait, wait, wait. What was that? Go, go back. Oh, where are you? Sif? We need you here. Stop the ship, my friends. All right, they brought her back. Up. So many people to save. I mean, look at all of this distress. I admire your commitment to each other. It's a beautiful thing. After thousands of years of living, you don't seem to know who the hell you are. I've been lost. And yeah, I got taken from me. And God, that hurts. But that shitty feeling is better than feeling empty. I'll find <laughs> Sif. You answer the other calls. The galaxy needs its guardians. Take this ship here as a parting farewell gift. Oh, you're giving me my ship. <laughs> <laughs> you ever feel lost? Just look into the eyes of the people that you love. All right, bye. Once worse, let's cling to the good memory. We have Guardian Day. May you travel with the speed of those Stravens. They're gone. Stormbreaker! Oh, <laughs> crazy ex. <laughs> Sif, it's me, Thor. You're missing an arm. I'm gonna get you home. No one to die a warrior's death. On the battlefield, in battle. And then I can claim my place in Valhalla. But for a warrior to get into Valhalla, you have to die in the battle. I've been hunting a madman. I followed him here, the God Butcher. He seeks the extinction of the gods. Asgard is next. Asgard number two. Yeah, it's got to be new Asgard. Mm. New Asgard. Uh, oh, I got the GNR in the back. Good catch. Ha hey, there's a poster. It said Mad Titan, and it was uh, it was a purple skull. Thor, or, uh, Thanos is the Mad Titan. Oh, it says also known as. That was his plan all along, was to yeah. lure Thor in. Yep. Who'd you piss off now? It's not my fault. I've never even seen these things, whatever the hell they are. <laughs> like, oh, she's just, like, wearing a sweatshirt. <laughs> You're gonna love that guy. Wait, is that Yeah, the that's the hammer. That's, yeah. that's gonna be that's Jane. Oh, slow oh. motion. You're bad. <laughs> Yep. Jane. Hey! Now, how did that work, though? I know yeah, how so the, the hammer means she was worthy, but I guess how? Whoa, oh, wow. that oh, that's new to me. That's new. <laughs> I like it. That's my hammer you've got there. Enough tomfoolery. Why don't you take up that mask and reveal yourself? Okay, it is. Oh. <laughs> Jane? <laughs> 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 he was a god of thunder, and she a woman of science. Together they embark <laughs> on <Jeez>. of love. <laughs> Thor taught Jane the way of the warrior. <laughs> love grew deeper and deeper. I need you to promise me you'll always protect her. Oh, oh that's that. why. But the more he pondered a life with Jane, the more he feared losing that life. And although Jane didn't want to admit it, she was scared of loss as well. And eventually the space between them grew until it became too wide to bear. Something had to give. I had to stay up all night. And then one night, it did give. Jane wrote a note, and Thor read that note. And their legend suddenly became myth. Or so they thought. You okay? It's a little, uh, hot. <laughs> yeah. How? Uh, great 
continue. Oh, there he is. Oh, that was cool. Oh, we went for the head on that one. Is that the Necro Sword? That's cool. I've only ever read about it. And you know, this is going. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, damn. Uh, you better run, you coward. The children! Wow, interesting. Shadow monsters. Disgusting. Flew around the world twice. Nothing. What's it been like? Three? Four years? Eight years, seven months, and six days. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of an oversimplification <laughs> that I left. You wrote me a beautiful handwritten letter. I should know I was there. You weren't there, I was. actually. And the note. I suppose we both left and both got left. <laughs> <laughs> People need entertainment. Particularly now, in times of crisis. Particularly. Asgard. Yes. Night. We open on some sleeping tube. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, wow. <laughs> Going right for it. <laughs> what you up to, bro? Asgard! <laughs> 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 Times like this, we need to unite, come together. And I'm sorry, Meek, it's very hard to get a rousing speech with the <laughs> noise. What are you doing? She's taking minutes. Well, precious minutes we don't have. Notes. He's taking notes. <laughs> He's taking minutes. <laughs> what do we know about this guy? He travels through shadows and he creates monsters with them. He also wields a necro sword. How do I know that? Because he almost speared me in the face with that. It's an ancient weapon that's been passed through hands since the dawn of time. He has the ability to slay gods. Slowly corrupts and kills whoever wields it, which means. Oh, so it infected him. It's infecting him, yes. Well, that's interesting to know. Can you see me? Uh, floating yellow lid. I'm just sorry. Axel. Astro. Axel! 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 Asshole! Now listen to him! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus! Focus and hold out your hand. Close your eyes. Oh. We're in a cage made of spikes. Are you gonna do something? Yes, yes, I am, but just not right now. What will happen to us? Who can tell? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, they're just out floating on a rock. Who oh, in the shadow realm? The atmosphere there has a darkness like no other. He moves through shadows and he's going to the shadow realm. It seems like that's where he's going to be the most powerful. We need reinforcements. We must raise an army. Omnipotent, omnipotent city. city. What's omnipotent city? It's the home of the most powerful gods in the universe. We can recruit Ra, uh, Hercules, and Zeus, the oldest and wisest of them all. Zeus. Well, I'm not sure if he has a second name. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> Catching up with an old friend. I've been meaning to apologize. Trying to figure out who I am, and then all of a sudden I see you dressed as me, and it was kind of... <laughs> it's a lot for me, too. I swear I heard Mjolnir call to me. And so I came here to investigate. And... Well, you know what? It looks good on you. It works. So... <laughs> <laughs> see you later. <laughs> oh, oh, is it not able to completely heal her? Even when I'm gone, honey, you won't be alone. And whatever happens, never stop fighting. You all right? You're great. The sink would say otherwise. I'm not getting any better. What about, you know, kinging and stuff? I miss my sisters, which is why you need to come, because I need one. Are you packed? Yes. My fellow Asgardians, we will return with children. And then we shall feast. Hold on, the children. <laughs> I need to I need to know a little bit more about these goats. <laughs> I need to know uh, a lot of things at this point with this movie. What about if I had like a cool catchphrase like Eat this hammer. Check out my hammer. <laughs> no, I'm not more exciting yet. Mine is, uh, this ends here and now. This is my first bad guy. Never forget your first. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening there? What? My, uh, sensing feelings. With Jane? Mm. No, don't be ridiculous. Right. Maybe you have feelings. 
<laughs> we're on the same team. Know exactly what team we're on, okay? Team Jane. Like when Hella stole his hammer, he went and built an axe which was forged in the heart of a dying star. And the same axe was used to cut off Thanos' head. You see that wolf Oh, kid? he's been there oh. the whole time. <laughs> oh. oh. What the hell? You know what Opti loves? Having his head ripped off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I knew a little girl just like you. And she was brave and she was smart. Let me ask you a question about gods meant to protect you, right? Well, where are they? Thor is on his way. Counting on that. Oh, I thought those would be blankets of death. <laughs> Die, blanket of death. Yes, <laughs> The man, the myth, the legend. That's really good. You should lead with that when you ask him for an army. <laughs> I hereby open this holy council. Over they go. It's like he's got an Italian accent. Yeah. <laughs> Look, these gods aren't gonna help, but that thunderbolt, I think that might be of use. Let's go get it. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Who is talking? These guys. <laughs> I'm bashing heads in 60 seconds. Literally, heads will roll. Who are you two? No, I can't hear you. Why don't you take the stage? Down there? Well, yes, you see the area that looks very much like a stage? <laughs> he sounds like Father Guido Sarducci from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> I come here to ask for your help. There's a maniac called God God. who seeks to end us all. He killed a couple of low level gods. He's murdering en masse. Shut up! Take off your disguise. And flick it! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> flick too hard, Jesus. damn it! Jesus. <laughs> you flick too hard. <laughs> R.I.P. Loki. Loki. <laughs> you are Thor, god of thunder. He's taken as guardian children. Every god watches over their own people. As guardian problems are as guardian problems. My hero, Zeus, frayed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Dude. Gore has the necro sword Which means he could kill us But all you do is cause a panic We are safe here So cheer baby cake Flick <laughs> 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 This is the golden temple of the gore <laughs> <laughs> Lightning bolt is called Thunderbolt. Can I borrow Thunderbolt? Thunderbolt! <laughs> no! The God Butcher, he will not reach eternity. What does he mean, reach eternity? Eternity is a very powerful being. It will grant the desire of the first person who reaches it. If he seeks the altar of eternity, that means he can wipe us out at once. So there's another little twist there. Mm -hmm. So even though he's dying, he can get there and then be okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, we'll stop him ourselves. This is a secret play, known only to the gods. You know where we are. The god Butcher could use you to find us. They going all Sopranos on him now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This guy's just leaking gold blood all over the place. No! Oh no, we no. lose him. We're losing Korg? No. No. I'm perishing! Oh, now he's Did that just happen? Pissed. Beyond that, Northern Sun! Whoa! Whoa! Thor just takes just out Zeus? 86 Zeus? Okay! I'm down here. Oh. There I am. Okay. I didn't die. Oh Turns out the only part of a Cronin that's alive is his mouth. Oh, this huh. works. I'll take that. But. Thor just took out Zeus, so isn't there in front of all the gods? So isn't there like some kind of punishment for you? That? You would think. There's Guns N' Roses again. <laughs> Jesus. 
I love how none of the gods are the, the, like, still, oh, your Zeus is gone! No. <laughs> oh, nobody's doing nothing. Nobody's doing anything. And I'll tell you, when I was your age, I don't think I would have been as brave as you. You might just be the bravest Asgardians that I've ever met. So I need you to keep being brave, all right? You're a team now. Team kids in a cage. <laughs> 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 Jesus. That's so bad. As you can imagine, they're a little bit scared because they're kids, but. We still have a plan? Yes, there's no plan. We failed to raise a god army. Korg is dead. He's not dead. I'm not dead. No, he's ahead. And you, you got properly humiliated. So I got properly naked, which I'm okay with. We're gonna die. No one's gonna die, we... okay? We killed Zeus. You killed Zeus. I'm sure the entire god kingdom is probably gonna hunt us down for the rest of our days, but listen, you stole this beautiful weapon. Okay, at least he acknowledged that. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, uh, we, we good? Come on, Mjolnir, in the past. I think it's time for your first beer. I just want to say that was uh, very, very impressive what you did back there. You should see the space dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, baseball. Jane. What? I want to feel shitty about you. <laughs> I feel shitty about something. <laughs> Star Lord. <laughs> My friend here told me that it's better to feel shitty from losing love than it is to never experience love and feel nothing at all. Feel push people away, kept them at a distance because of the fear of that loss, but I don't want to do that anymore. I want to be with you, Jane. Well, I have cancer. And there it is. Don't have cancer. Go smash something. When did you find out? Like six months ago, I they told me I have stage four, and then I heard Mjolnir calling me. So I thought maybe if science isn't working, maybe Viking space magic. I think it's getting better. You don't know what tomorrow holds. Mjolnir chose you, and it chose you because you're worthy. When I first met you, I was unworthy. I was unable to pick up that hammer. You made me worthy. So whatever you want to do, we can do together. I'm going to get those children back to their families. It's probably like a true thought. How are you feeling? Shitty. Really shitty. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Finally. I was like, are they going to get to this yet? I know. <laughs> what, the one thing I, I want to know the... is, does the does the hammer like give a temporary pause? Because we yeah. saw her come yeah, out it and has she was to, like... Because the way she's fighting. Yeah. <clears throat> Cocktails and dreams. That was uh, Tom Cruise's bar. Name and cocktail. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. Cocktails. Oh, yeah. And it's the, the logo it's and everything. The nice sign. catch. Yeah. It's literally the same <laughs> Nice sign. catch. Oh, <laughs> boy. This probably oh. does. Oh. oh. <laughs> I think the goats actually might save the movie, kind of. <laughs> Pretty sure it's Voldemort with a nose. Yeah, you're not far off. You really have to stop being like this. God, yeah. Call the axe when you call the dentist. Some god do you are. You went to the gods for help and they did nothing. You're murdering innocent gods. Innocent? You are Valkyrie. Yes. Oh, how exciting! Your sisterhood was led to slaughter. Yes, we pray to the gods when the women you loved lay dying on the battlefield. Did you beg them for help? As your family was massacred. Yo, he's making a lot of sense yeah. so far. You know what? Like the god sat there and laughed as his daughter was killed. I'm yeah. hard to not take his side a little bit. You're dying. The same path. So does he Just know? As the sword empowered me. The hammer empowered you. Oh, but it did nothing to change your fate. The gods will use you. You know, ever since whoever said it, it's like, damn it! Now I do see Voldemort a little bit. <laughs> I had a daughter once. 
I put my faith in a higher power, hoping it would save her. Now I understand. My daughter is the lucky one. Choose love. Go. The axe. The axe. I'm digging Bale as this villain right now. I know, he's doing an outstanding job. <laughs> Look at all of this. Those are huge. You okay? Yeah. Oh, it's thing. always moving, so there's going to be so many different shadows. shadows. Yep. I do dig how he moves in and out of the shadows yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Oh. oh. Oh, no, not the goats. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> the goats are doing work. Goats come to play. Oh, nice. Ooh. I mean, that should do it, right? He wouldn't you think? Um, well, probably not so sure, though. Zeus's thunderbolt right through the base of the neck? It's not. Oh, oh. oh he, used, he used the thunderbolt, though, not his sword. Maybe that's different. Well, I don't think it's different, dude. I got you. Yeah, I think she'll make it. Oh, 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 he's going to try to use it. Wow, now what happens? He should be able to call to it and it should still be able to come to him. You would think. She freaking launched it. How many? <laughs> How far yeah. away? Something's affecting her body's ability to fight the cancer. We're not even going to try Wakanda, I'm just saying. How's Val? Oh, she's in a lot of pain, uh, but she is stable. Okay, good. She's going to pop out for a moment, pick up the kids, uh, kill the bad guy, and then... Uh, He's going to uh, use those kids to distract you. That hammer is killing you. Every time you use it, it's draining all of your mortal strength, leaving your body unable to fight the cancer. Why not have one more adventure? <laughs> Jane, if there's a chance to live, you have to take it. Look at me. I want to keep fighting, and you want me not to do that? What's the point of more time at this? Because I love you. And this is a chance for us. If you pick up that damn hammer again, then that chance is gone. You better come back to me. So how are you feeling with the old stab wound? I think I lost my kidney. I wish I could join you, but I'd probably die and that won't help get the kids back. So you'll have to go alone. All you have to do is destroy that sword. <laughs> I'm not going to risk my life for kids. <laughs> yeah. Not this time. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I would like some explanation in the comments from all you savvy comic book peeps about the Thunderbolt. So if you guys could help us out, that'd be great in the comments. <clears throat> God, Bale is an awesome villain in this. And it's, man, I feel like it's kind of wasted. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> go! Go, kick! Why do you throw that at uh, Gar over there? Yeah. Oh boy, that's a lot of shadow. Yes, it is. Does anyone here have battle experience? Now collect your weapons. Go and find anything you can pick up. Today is a day that we'll talk about for generations to come. Present arms! <laughs> uh, bunny. <laughs> Whosoever holds these weapons believes in getting home if they be true from heart is therefore worthy and shall possess for a limited time only <laughs> the power. Oh, oh he's gonna what? give him what? all the powers? Did he just give all these <laughs> for a limited time? time yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, that's awesome. Oh, and the bunny too had the eyes. Yeah. The bunny's gonna help here. Did he just? Oh say my God! No, November no, now we got rain. November rain. Yes! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh that's my the, god. The bigger version of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> nice. She's in her little princess outfit. <laughs> Oh, there's the bunny! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Seriously. Digging the gimmick. Oh. oh. Wait, does she feel... She's feeling his pain. The hammer wants her oh. to go. Go. Do it. <laughs> oh. oh! There's... There's our hammer. The name is Mighty Thor. <laughs> Eat my hammer. <laughs> At least she committed to that one. Yeah, <laughs> she was. I knew you could do it. Axel, get the move. All the right. Kids made it home all right. Yeah. Oh, it's cracked. Gonna, yep, we just gotta break that thing. She's looking a little fatigued. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right Have there. you seen the last of, uh... Nice! Oh, she, she encased it, it in there, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Does she have to destroy the hammer? Jane? We didn't see her. Yeah. Eyes are already gone. Yeah, it's already fading. Go stop! What kind of father would I be if I stopped? It's not death or revenge that you seek. Love. Seek love. Why should I seek love? Because it's all any of us want. How dare turn your back on me? You've won, Gore. Why would I spend my last moments with you when I can be with her? You can bring her back. Make your wish. Oh. So now he's seen that. Mm hmm. Oh, he also doesn't have that blade to corrupt his mind, like they said. Yeah. Yep. Doing the sword was corrupt. I'm dying. She would be alone. She won't be alone. So is he choosing to let himself go? Uh, he's going to choose to bring his daughter back. I don't know. Okay, now after that, how can you That's what call I'm him saying. like a villain in here? Yeah, he's really, I mean, not. I, mean, I, I don't think he was going to hurt the kids because he was trying to be funny with them in the cage. No. You know? He was using them as bait the he whole was, time. Yeah, to get He was using them as bait. He was still going to destroy the gods. It wasn't until that the sword one got destroyed yeah. that it uh, stopped corrupting him and the speech. Mm -hmm. I think I figured out my catchphrase. <laughs> the best one yet. <laughs> Keep your heart open. I love you. I love you too. Like a true Asgardian. Mm. It's like how his... How yeah, yeah like how father went. Wow, we lost Jane. Did not expect that. I, well, not coming into the movie, but no. obviously they were hinting with stage four. And, well, sure. Yeah. But I thought there might have been something they could have done. Mm -hmm. I was kind of holding on to that hope. Well, now this sets up for an interesting story for Thor moving mm -hmm. forward. Her hanging out with Thor and the Guardians of the Galaxy, the comedy writes itself. <laughs> Let me tell you the legend of the Space Viking, a.k.a. the Mighty Thor, a.k.a. Dr. <laughs> Jane Foster. Her sacrifice saved the universe. She helped the children of the gods. Who laser beamed their way back home to their <laughs> so dozy little fishing village? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. They actually showing them kind of rebuild. They had all the cranes and stuff. That's yeah, it's pretty neat. The kids were safe to be kids again. Look at all those budding space Vikings. Even Heimdall's son, 
Axel Heindl's son, who could now do as dad's freaky oh, eye nice. magic, was becoming quite the warrior. Speaking of futures, I was forging one of my own, now that my body's grown back, with a dude I met called Dwayne. What about the Johnson? you are? <laughs> Mustache. No. There you go. Hey. Oh, God, that's right. They were hinting at that during that montage of him and Jane. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, where are your boots? I'm wearing them. <laughs> you know where <laughs> Brand new, now destroyed. Thank you very much. Don't come complaining to me when your feet get sore, right? You get no sympathy here from me. Now, where is me on there? Where'd I put it? Over there, sleeping in the bed. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 I see the aliens down there, the stripey ones. Protect the nice one. I love you, sweetie. Love you, Uncle Thor. Nice. Okay, so it's Uncle Thor. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is she gonna get armor? They are simply known as Love and Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm that was uh, interesting. A lot of GNR oh, right here. Choose to be that being a god uh, meant something before sharing the deepest hopes and dreams. All right, so he survived. All right. That was a hell of a fall, but yeah. You know, they look to the sky, they don't ask us for rain. They just want to see one of their so-called super yellows. When did we become the joke? They will fear us again when Thor Odinson falls from the sky. Do you understand me, Oculus? Yes, father. Well, that's oh, interesting. Oh, little Dio. Wow. Huh? Huh? Hey, oh, what? it's in Valhalla. No, I was just wondering, with all the multiverses, maybe there's a... Uh, the chance? Pain. Oh! Hey! Yes, he's, he's in Valhalla with everybody else. You are very welcome here to the land of the gods. Welcome to Valhalla. Well, I know that he was he was he was upset about he wanted to have a bigger role. So, like, I thought when he left Marvel, he wasn't gonna ever come back. Yeah, he's not. He, he made it sound like it was a done deal. Yeah. When he said all that yeah, stuff, he too. was he was got tired of fighting Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> Well, guys, that was, all, all right, right. So there it was. Wow. All right. Thor: Love and Thunder, and you know, right off the bat, if this movie was being based purely on the soundtrack, it'd be five out of five answers. <laughs> However, that's not the case. You know, it was. It almost seemed a bit schizophrenic. Like it didn't know what it was. And I said it earlier. And I don't know if it made the cut, but to me, the opening scene kind of defined this whole movie. Like we had this. We had this scene with Christian Bale, who absolutely crushes everything he's in. Even though he was a bit of a uh, Voldemort with a nose, I thought that he absolutely was awesome in this role. And that beginning scene where he lost his daughter, you know, a, a, an incredibly, you know, powerful moment. And then they go into the the garden and he's, this, there's this ridiculous looking god in there. And they it's like they wanted us to, to start laughing already. And I'm like, the guy just lost his daughter and you want me laughing at this goofy god i was like yeah pick up the sword run them through and go handle your business man take out some vengeance on these guys who wouldn't help you i was i was pissed right there with them so <laughs> to me uh he was never really felt like a true villain and i think i said it a few times that he he kind of felt like thanos a little bit but obviously not as hardcore as thanos because you know, Bale's character, I don't think he was ever going to hurt the kids. He was using him as bait to try to get Stormbreaker. So a real redemption, you know, story for, for that character at the end. So I was kind of conflicted the whole time. And I think you guys kind of touched on it where there was, look, the acting from Hemsworth was awesome. He was being Thor as we expect, mm -hmm. as we love. Um, boy, he was crushing the, the, the chicken breast and broccoli for this role because he was huge. <laughs> Uh, but you know everybody did such a good job and I just I, man it was so close to being right there but there was just some little things that it, it, it tried to be too funny and then it tried to get serious right away and it just it kind of felt like it bounced all over a little bit you know still enjoyable uh, I'm sure there was a ton of Easter eggs to uh, to catch so like I said if it was if it was based on the soundtrack it'd be five unfortunately it doesn't uh, work that way I really love seeing Christian Bale in this role, though. Gosh, he was awesome. And 
not a typical villain as diamond dave said so it was a look it was a fun movie i liked seeing the kids get all the powers at the yeah, end and you know cool. the bunny and everything with the lightning bolts coming out of its eyes that was really cool i was kind of like yeah let's go you know but uh unfortunately it didn't quite hit the numbers you'd expect for a marvel so for me a 3.25 out of five answers not their best outing but you know what it really did have its moments and had so much potential uh you know to be good um gosh we saw the end of uh we saw the end of jane which was pretty damn shocking but got to see idris elba again in valhalla so we'll have to see where it goes well look at you just dropping the spoilers right at the end <laughs> right there in our <laughs> review so well i guess we can show that in the edit no i really had fun i really entertained i was really entertained obviously with right away with guardians of the galaxy you could see what he was going with i get your point with that because they didn't just they just didn't seem to let it simmer yeah. whether it was going as far as the comedy or with the dramatic part they didn't let it simmer enough but at the same time you know when you get to serious parts with the love and stuff yeah you gotta find some way to to break it it's not like you're gonna let it simmer too long or else it's gonna become overly dramatic or overly comedic so you needed to find they needed to find a healthier balance but it wasn't as bad as what i thought people made it no, out to be that i all. saw in the comments no, i don't think so chris obviously crushed it as usual <laughs> uh the, yeah the other hemsworth which our name escape his name escapes as uh, Diamond Dave will look it up real quick with Matt Damon and then immediately how they're like yeah. actors, actors like, all right, how do we capitalize on this yeah. right away? <laughs> I, you know, it was fun. It, obviously, it wasn't as fun as Ragnarok. Ragnarok was great. But this, I still mm. really had a fun time with even the callbacks with Kat Dennings and Skarsgård. Luke, Luke yeah. Hemsworth <laughs> was the forgotten Sorry, Hemsworth. Luke. <laughs> yeah. We the still love brother, you, Luke. The third brother. <laughs> Not our fault. But when I come into a comic book movie, I'm ready to be entertained. Right. And I obviously was entertained. You're right about the music, especially GNR. They had to love this movie. I'm oh. sure they gave it five out of five <laughs> answers, especially in the checkbook. So I am going to give it four answers. Not the best Thor movie, but I still, I honestly think it is better than Dark World. It is definitely better than Dark World. I might be generous on the four, but oh, God. I, I, they <laughs> shit the bed three ways from Sunday with this movie. I thought it was awful. It had a couple of funny parts and a couple of comedic things, but as a whole, this movie was terrible. And I'm a huge Marvel fan. I liked some of the jokes and stuff. The goat screaming once yeah. was comedic. Um, and I have to agree with Quinn. Like, and you've you, you've heard me say this a few a few times. And I, I don't want to be preachy, but when you have kids, like you look at stuff a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And I think had they taken the scene where his daughter dies and then they go to this garden and the God gives this speech about how we don't really listen to you. And it had like this serious vibe. And then he got angry at the God because we've seen this before in movies, right? Whether it be somebody who just loses their faith or they're mad at the gods for not listening to them. That's not a new theme, but to go from a, a, a scene as, as dramatic and as uh, intense and as serious as your child dying of essentially dehydration or starvation to like some weird comedy scene with like flower figures, that was arguably the worst opening yeah. scene I've ever seen in any movie, not even a Marvel movie. I mean, this, yeah, I was this pissed. Was bad. This is a, this, this yeah. intro, I, I can't, I, it, it, it blows my mind that some of these scenes made it past like the, the idea room. Well, what if his daughter dies, but then there's like these flower so people God. and he's joking. <laughs> and there had to be, it had to be like the top exec in the room and everybody was going like, yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. There wasn't one person who stood up in the room and was like, hey, this sucks. You're going from like the highest emotional thing that a person can go through losing a child to like dancey flower people and this guy, it was terrible terrible and and like right. i said some funny parts with chris hemsworth they way overdid the awkward relationship thing too right they way overdid that like i get a couple like oh hey what are yeah. we what are we doing now and then they just dragged that it was like they got <laughs> one funny idea you know like everybody's got that friend who tells one funny joke and it's funny like once and then they keep like for the next like 10 years trying to play like okay it's not funny anymore it's like that's what this whole movie was was like just rehashing shitty jokes that were funny the first time i can't even like this was so bad i'm sorry you guys my answer looks like i like i'm personally offending him oh, wow. 
I, I feel like this was terrible. The only like saving grace for this whole movie was like, you know me, I like my lessons. At the end, like Thor came out of nowhere and said, hey, you know, look for the adults. If somebody's scared or getting picked on, help them. Okay, so cool lesson from Thor to his daughter. You're strong, you know, stand up to bullies and stuff like that. Otherwise, nice. this, this movie was bad. Nice. It had some good comedy in it. And I liked the bully lesson at the end. This is the worst score oh, yeah. I've ever given any movie by huge. Yeah. One answer. And I love Chris Hemsworth, so I didn't start this with a zero, but this movie was brutally awful. <laughs> I will never watch it again. I will absolutely 100% go see the next Thor movie because I love Marvel and I love Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> this one shit the bed awfully. One answer. <laughs> so, uh, these guys had some really great stuff there. I will start off on a positive by saying the actors, we will never, ever say the act well. <laughs> depending on the movie, of course. But the actors did phenomenal with what they were given. So kudos to all of you. Uh, again, crushed it. Uh, I don't know if it made the cut, but I was saying that the comedy went too far right. The uh, drama seriousness went too far left. Answer said it pretty well. They needed a healthy balance. I personally, in my opinion, do not think they had a healthy balance. Again, it was either so far here or so far there. Uh, as Quinn and Dave highlighted, uh, the opening scene, that's a hell of a way to kick off a movie. Uh, but then kind of, we took that hard, sharp left and I was just, mm, okay, whatever. Uh, some of the comedy was great. You saw me chuckling probably in there a couple times. Yeah. I, was I entertained? Yes. Will I ever go back in the Marvel catalog and be like, I gotta see this one again? Probably not uh ragnarok for sure for for the thor list uh but this one not so much um for all the comic book people out there i'll probably need some of your help with some things in here like the the thunderbolt um i, I need to do some research on a lot of this stuff actually so i'll probably have to seek out some uh of the heavy spoilers because i know he came out with some stuff immediately after these movies hit the theater um so i'm gonna have to do some research a little bit more on gore uh, as a father, I cannot hate Christian Bale's character Gore in this at all because he was doing it to bring his kid back. And as a father of two, I would have done the same goddamn thing. <laughs> so I can't, it's hard to hate Christian Bale's character in this. Again, I'm saying that for the third time because it's just. I don't think I would have wrote it this way. I'm now. This is why I want to go back and learn more about the comic book uh, version of Gore to see a little bit more. Um, and it did have. Was it you, Andrew, that gave off the Voldemort vibes? <laughs> it did. So it's like uh, once you see it, yeah. once, you, once he said that, I was like, damn it! Now I see it. Uh, but otherwise, Christian Bale. If you want to have the pointy teeth, maybe. <laughs> I, I Christian Bale. I. But that's what does we're he gonna, do anything bad? Really? Anytime, no, he doesn't. Anybody, anytime we're gonna see somebody like that, you're gonna think yeah. of Voldemort because it's either that or you're gonna think of powder. It's well, either honestly, those are the two you're gonna think of. Powder. 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 Think of well, anytime you see somebody like that. No, I oh, honestly did back. not think of Voldemort until you said it because I, I was like, "Is what?" Really? Oh, damn it. No, I see I it. can't yeah, believe so. Christian Bale took this role. No. I can't believe well, Christian oh, come Bale. On, come on. Like, now, look, Chris, this the is there. still better than You know Dark how much money he made with him. the one that yeah. was trying it's to be dramatic. terrible. Everything he does is golden. Everything. And then this. And Hemsworth is like, like Terminator Genesis. I don't want to that didn't. Okay, wait a minute. That wasn't exactly okay. golden. <laughs> Maybe not everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and, you, oh, and I suppose you enjoyed him in Newsies, too, huh? Yeah. 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 like 12? Yeah, yeah. were you still in Newsies? Terminator Genesis. <laughs> You got to remember, Why though, go after seeing, seeing, words, on, <laughs> I gotta see seeing words on a script, the, the actors have zero say unless you're Tom Cruise on what the final cut is. <laughs> Any true. actor in Marvel has no final say on anything of what oh, they want to yeah. do. Yeah. So what they were probably doing when they were filming, they like, oh. sure they probably think, well, this was good. <laughs> or maybe they did read the script and were like, this sucks. And then, hey, I got my $25 million payday. Man. One of those two, right? Yeah. So. I thought Bill crushed it as Gore. Again, I need to do some more research on this. It's, uh, for a rating on this one, I'm giving it a, just a flat 2.9, maybe a three. It again. Yeah, I, it, I'm not it, coming in not this a movie grand expecting Oscar. No, <laughs> I, I wasn't either. But I'm coming in. It did go. I was entertained. I just won't be 
putting it in the one that's going to be rewatched. I, I, I'm still going to watch this before Dark World. That's all uh, I'm going to say. Have to go, now I'm going to go back and watch Dark World. Uh, when they had the scene with Hemsworth with Zeus and he was just, just like in like just, permaflex uh, mode. I was like, oh, come on. All right. Yeah, uh, easy now. Easy. He's going to pull something or pass <laughs> out. Oh, it's, it's like Kroll is like, yeah, too hard. Should I work out for this role or have some donuts? <laughs> ah, the donuts are probably good. Like they, I think they might have padded the stomach yeah. a little bit on that thing to make it I don't, bigger. I don't know if we've had a movie that's generated this much different emotions between the four of us. Like, I mean, we're kind of on the same page a little bit, but still a little bit different. You, know, you, you I think you said it. This movie had a, a shit ton of potential. Oh, if they so decided much. to go one, one way, way with it. One way, yeah. or the other. one way. Choose a direction. If the, if, the, if it would have just stayed, hey, you know what? We're going to take a Marvel movie. We're going to lighten it up make it funny still try to go with you know what the superheroes have to save the world but they went with like we're gonna save the world but this dude's daughter like died of starvation or we don't even acknowledge it and th- that, that's what that, i'm looking at where plot. you guys are dying oh no, it's good to have that, a different yeah. perspective because well, yeah. you guys have sons and i know but yeah. i'm also looking at that he was corrupted by the blade so what did he want to do he wanted to seek revenge he never wanted to bring back his daughter it wasn't until the sword was destroyed and Thor said, it's about love. Go ahead, destroy me. It's not going to bring your daughter back. And then he even said, well, if I if I bring her back, I die. Well, then he's like, she won't be alone. So, yeah. Jane, so it took him to hear that stuff yeah. while not being corrupted <laughs> by his heart. But <laughs> so so you're looking at it like from an actual like like the, the logical. Like the, no, just from like comic <laughs> character development. All I'm looking at is like you had a movie where they tried to be funny and then you had a plot where Look, there's a lot, there's a, 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 I'm not going to say a lot of movies out there, but there are certain movies where people, and and look, whatever religion you are, whatever, where people lose their faith because Mm -hmm. of certain things happen, whether a child dies or a family member dies or certain things. There's all sorts of movies where somebody loses their faith in God or whoever they believe in. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, certain things have to happen for them to get that back or they renounce their God or whatever. And those types of movies are very serious movies with serious plots. And you're usually your very heavy dramas and things have to play out in order for them to whatever. And so had they taken a more dramatic angle or a comedy angle, but the, and the, and the other thing is the comedy, like I'm used to the Marvel movies having funny bits, but this comedy was like out in left field comedy where it was funny, like screaming goats from the internet. Like that's totally an internet thing where all the goats go, Rah! you know, so they pulled that. <laughs> The Russell Crowe Zeus character being like this, like it's like, yeah. it was funny. Like I thought it was like don't give like I thought the funny parts were funny, but it was like you can't like mix these two. And they and they almost it was almost Whatever like give me a on. give me a little bit of yeah. Russell Crowe being like yeah hey, you know and yeah. then and then like oh hey that was funny and then they kept going with it. But it was like they just tried to make this too. I think if they would have done movies. I think if they would have done one thing that would have changed it. I think if they would have made the sun god guy or whatever, not so cartoonish and goofy that we're not supposed to laugh at him, if they would have made that god that Gore had to go up to, just had him look more serious and maybe a different spin on it and then he he does the grab him by the throat thing, I think that would have completely changed the movie had they not made that god like a goofball, almost a Sesame Street type dancing, character. What were the dancing flowers in the garden? If like, it would have been more serious there, I think that would have changed yeah, the entire was... uh, Did they, theme you know, the they, uh, so many times we hear about, you know, movies that get dropped in front of like, you know, focus groups and stuff like that. Like what movie, there's some movie, I forget which one, big one recently that like they were going to put out. And they were just they scrapped the whole thing because it was so bad <laughs> and um and and i'm wondering like when they put this out it, like did they did they do test audiences with this thing yeah. they had to because you know i uh, usually not with i don't think so with, with marvel, marvel because you know, they try you, know to you brought up a good point that they shoot all these scenes and look none of them look this isn't me being like i don't like I love chris hemsworth okay like <laughs> I mean, I really love Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> love um, all these actors. They're, yeah, they're, they're all great. Like, right. a Russell list. Crowe, Chris yeah. Hemsworth, Matt Damon. I mean, Kat look, Denning. Look, she's back. Look, these, this, these are these are these are great actors. And I'm wondering, you know, Dave, I'm wondering if there's not like some extended cut somewhere where like the guy who was second in command was like, hey, maybe we should leave that in there. Let's do this shoot. There's got to be like another like Love and Thunder like 
cut. Or we could do like an extended version or director's cut or something. Director's cut or, 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 or something. You know, they, they maybe wanted to just keep the two hours. I mean, yeah. So what of, were the... What, I, like that's I said, two hours total. That's, I come, yeah. It was actually less. We're yes. taking off the credits. Yeah, it was yeah. probably one of the shorter Marvel movies. One of the movies. shorter Marvel movies. I, I didn't see... Honestly, I stayed away from all the spoilers. And this was one that was yeah. tough for me not to go to the theater. It's like, hey, maybe I'll just check it out in theaters, you know. <laughs> oh, no, oh, nobody will have to know. And I didn't because I wanted to have just a genuine reaction for this channel. So I actually haven't seen even any of the critic stuff on here. No. What was the general consensus? It was either hit on... or miss. They were either they either loved it or they hated it. It yeah. was just like our panel. So there was oh. people who, who felt the same but way as me. But there were a lot so, of people yeah. that echoed no. your, your, all of our sentiment about how going right, then left, right, then left. Well, okay. and let's point out, too, real quick. I know we're kind of going long here, but let's point out, too. They started off with a, a daughter dying, which a lot of people have kids, right? And then the second major thing that's a big thing in this world is cancer. So how can you... How can you kind of, uh, and not that they were poking fun or making fun of it, I'm not saying that, but, but it's, it's, it, it's a like I wanted to get invested because uh, my mother does have cancer, so it's, uh, I wanted to get really invested into the story there and get lost in it, but I really couldn't because then it, as soon as they got an awesome, like dramatic moment, comedy, and I'm like, Damn it! I really wanted to stay sucked well, in. That's well, just me. I know some people they like tried that. To, though, yeah. so. They tried to do the opening just like how they did the first Guardians of the Galaxy. He watches his mother basically pass away. He gets sucked up, and it's immediately into a comedy bet where he's dancing that, on a planet. Yeah, but that was different though. So like they started off like super serious, but then they never really revisited a super serious moment though in get in guardian so like they opened it up the hot. part where at the end where she's like where he finally takes then the they hand. came back well see start and end <laughs> yeah this whole thing though they were boom boom yeah. boom boom but that's just my opinion on yeah. that i just i just for, for me and in, in ragnarok i thought man ragnarok was and and i might be a, a little angry about that because ragnarok for me was so much fun i oh, mean was, ragnarok was just a- and I, I love the Thor character. I love Chris Hemsworth. Um, and so when you get so excited about like, and this one looked the previews, they had, they had Sweet Child of Mine in the yeah, previews. They had GNR all over the and place. You, you had yeah. no idea from the previews that this is what it was going to be like. And so the previews, I was like, oh my God, this could be so much fun. Can't wait to watch it with the guys. And here I am like, <laughs> Oh, no, no. <laughs> it looked like he did during the first Potter. You know, the first, the first, except there's, yeah. So as you can yeah. see, we're very uh, divisive I, on the board. Really curious yeah. to what everyone's going to say just, about this. Yeah, and I just wanted to, to ask everybody out there who are maybe more like hardcore comic uh, book people who are knowledgeable, with Jane having the cancer, is it unrealistic for me to think that in the Marvel universe where they have <laughs> flying ships and teleportation and uh, you know Wakanda that can essentially build anything? I mean, really, cancer? That's that's what we can't stop. I mean, nobody had the technology and and all the Avengers and all the magic and all the stuff we've seen. You know, uh, what's her name? Scarlet Witch couldn't just go in there and. Get remember, rid of it, then uh, you know. Just remember, she's Jack gone. Sparrow. Didn't you not watch Doctor Strange with us? I, I forgot the order. Yeah, she's but anyway, gone. But anyways, so wait, you know. I know it. Yeah, drop a comment. Yeah. Oh my God! So well. Uh, very fun having watching this movie and having this <laughs> this uh, good old round table at the end. Uh, uh, so for Diamond Dave Appleton Oak, that of course is Mason Quinn, and I am of course the answer. Good night, pals. <laughs>